Welcome, crypto fam, to the number one daily Bitcoin pod. Happy Sunday, fun day. In today's show, I'll be sharing the latest Bitcoin technical analysis. And quoting the high priest Bitcoin, Max Kaiser, the NAV BTC for MSTR is not relevant. The company, like Sailor says, it's a growth company that's able to buy lots of Bitcoin for pennies. It's more like a gold mining company that can mine gold for $10 an ounce, and they keep all the gold they mine and never have to sell it. That's right. We'll also be discussing Bitcoin address brings to life after hibernating for 12 plus years, moves almost 8 million in Bitcoin at a 700,000% profit. That's what's up. We'll also be discussing Judge Push's Tornado Cash co-founder trial to April of 2025, as well as the viral squirrel Peanut triggers a meme coin frenzy. That's right. Rest in peace to Peanut Squirrel, as well as Fred the Raccoon. And uh, we'll also be discussing economists. Alex Kruger unveils election prediction for the Bitcoin, says Bitcoin can shoot straight up. I'll be sharing his target. Teaser alert, 90 G's in play. We'll also be discussing uh, discussing all the bullish targets in play with a Trump pump, ultimately meaning with Trump winning the election in two more days and quoting Donald Trump, brand new quote regarding Bitcoin. Bitcoin is not threatening the dollar. The behavior of the current U.S. government is really threatening the dollar. Preach. Well said. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market. All this, plus so much more in today's show. So yeah, if you're new to the channel, important to smash the likes and go ahead and subscribe to the number one daily Bitcoin pod. Also hit that bell icon to turn on all notifications. Today is pod number 1807. I'm your host, JV. It's Sunday, fun day, November 3rd, 2024. We're on the cusp of the new presidential election winner being announced in two more days. A lot of bullishness in the markets, a lot of chaos around the world, and a lot of volatility as well, which I perceive as life force. But nonetheless, uh, welcome everyone to the live stream. Let's kick it off with our market watch as we do each and every day. You can see Bitcoin in the red correcting, maintaining just above 69 Gs, baby, as the majority of the alts are also correcting and in the red. And checking out coinmarketcap.com. We're sitting on a 2.28 trillion total crypto market cap. The Bitcoin market cap is at 1.35 trillion dollars and we got 69 billion worth of volume in the past 24 hours and this morning when i checked the bitcoin dominance it was above 60 percent it pulled back some currently 59.4 percent with the lowest the ether dominance has been in years down to 12.9 percent womp womp and checking out the crypto bubbles, we get a visual perspective on the day. Safe to say 97% of the market correcting and in the red. Only two cryptos I could even see in the green or three. And that includes XMR, which is Monero, barely in the green. Leo, barely in the green. And IMX, barely in the green. And zooming out on the monthly, we get a broader perspective. I'd say 70, 30, red over green. And checking out the crypto greed and fear index. Today, we're in greed, rated a 74. Yesterday, a 72, last week a 74, and last month a 41 in fear. And checking out the time chain calendar, we have 181,272 blocks yet to go into the next Bitcoin having extravaganza in 2028. We're currently on block height number 868,728, and you can currently exchange one US dollar, you know, that fiat monopoly tulip bowl mania for 1,455 sats. So stack them sats accordingly, family. And let's continue with today's astrology for the broskies and uh, check out what's actually happening in the charts. Uh, headline here is Bitcoin analyst sees 66,000 local bottom as the Bitcoin price liquidates 200 million. That's right. Bitcoin continues to struggle after rejecting near all-time highs of 73.8. Earlier in the week, we tapped 73.6 and some change over on Coinbase. Now, markets uh, nerves over the upcoming U.S. election have compounded on already an overheated Bitcoin trading environment where the open interest hit record highs. Observers see the risk of further Bitcoin price retracement before the uptrend resumes. According to analyst Titan of Crypto, who shares here, local bottom at 66.2 before bounce. Question mark. Uh, the chart showed the Ikimoku cloud data for the one day time frame with the price deviating below one of the indicator's key trend lines. Now, and that's called the Tenkin Sen 
all these Japanese names, yo. Bitcoin couldn't close above the Tenkin, signaling a possible more profound pullback. If the breakout is confirmed, we might see a retest of the key June around 66.2, which would mark the local bottom. Now, also Bitcoin traders line up the bounce zone. So let's discuss this. Uh, Bitcoin liquidated 200 million alongs on its way down to the current level, which included a brief drop below 68. We're currently recovering uh, from there. Now, data from TradingView revealed only a modest rebound occurring thereafter, leading to more Bitcoin price downside predictions. Uh, credible crypto called the area between 65 and 69 a must bounce zone, reiterating that the week's trip to the near all-time highs rate may remain. An upside deviation, quoting them here. For now, Let's see if we can get this bounce, bounce, come on, bounce. And then we can take it from here. Let me know if you agree, disagree with the analysts. Uh, also shared here, Bitcoin has pulled back onto the Fibonacci 0.618 level, which is in common support for the healthy pullback, according to trader Alan Terragrade. Uh, if this level holds up, Bitcoin, there will be another impulsive move. Uh, let me know if you agree or disagree with that. And regarding the option markets, QCP Capital shared options market is trading Bitcoin seven-day implied volumes at 74.4%, substantially higher than the past seven-day realized volumes of 41%, indicating a significant risk premium around the elections. And before I pull up some of the live charts, here's some recent tweets from Max Kaiser. The NAV slash BTC for MicroStrategy is not relevant. The company like Sailor says it's a growth company that's able to buy lots of the Bitcoin for pennies. It is more like a gold mining company that can mine gold for $10 an ounce and consider gold right now is selling for roughly 2,800 an ounce. And they keep all the gold they mine and never have to sell it. We call this the sailor put. He can ultimately print the Bitcoin out of thin air. And also shared here, spoiler alert, MicroStrategy cost basis when buying Bitcoin is near zero. And as the Bitcoin price keeps going up, their cost basis for buying that Bitcoin keeps going deeper into negative territory. Dilution equals accretion. Uh, the key to remember is that the Bitcoin fair market value is 10 million per Bitcoin. I love that. I'm going to repeat it. Uh, quoting the high priest, the key to remember is that Bitcoin's fair market value is $10 million per Bitcoin. Sailor is capturing that arbitrage with tens of billions of essentially free money. So keep that in mind. Every Bitcoin you own is essentially worth $10 million. Well, that's at least what the fair market value is, according to Max Kaiser. Let me know if you agree or disagree. And now let's pull up some of the live uh, charts and read what's going on with some of the different time frames. As you can see here, we're looking via trading view via Coinbase Exchange, the largest exchange in the United States. There's a falling wedge pattern on the one hour chart, but we do have a bull target in the red sitting at 73.2, which will take us close back to price discovery, which was achieved back in mid-March. And we just touched upon maybe a week ago. Uh, zooming out from there, we'll check out out the four hour chart and the four hour chart shows us right now a bullish pennant breakout looking pretty bullish. Uh, we do have a blue bull target that will take us to new all time highs of 81,300. We do also have a blue bullish pennant green target. I meant to say bullish pennant. Yeah, green target at 78.8, which you can see on your screen and zooming out from the four hour. We'll check a check out the one day. The one day does have a bear target sitting all the way down at 24 G's. Jesus. And uh, zooming out from there, we'll check out the one week. We still have the sexy cup and handle target sitting pretty at 124,000. But we also have a bear target now in play all the way down at 24 G's. And zooming out from there, we'll take a quick look at the one month chart. And as we can see here, we now have a target formed on the one month, again, all the way down to 24 Gs. Uh, we did finally get a green monthly candle close for October, as well as a little green uh, candle close for September bull. And now we're in November. And you already know, uh, where do you feel the Bitcoin price action is likely to take us next? Holla at your boy. Yeah, check this out. This is a pretty exciting story. A uh, Bitcoin address brings to life. After hibernating for 12 plus years, it pays to hodl. He ultimately hodled three cycles. And as a result, his uh, Bitcoin is up over 700,000 in profit. So 11.7 .7 million in Bitcoin up 700,000 in profit. That's right. A long dormant crypto wallet woken up after years of slumber to move millions of dollars worth of Bitcoin, according to the on-chain data. Uh, whale alert revealed the wallet that has been asleep for more than 12 years, respect to the HODL gang, has abruptly woken up and sent 159 Bitcoin worth about 
12 million. The first wallet received 759 Bitcoin back in September of 2012 for a total cost of less than $8,000. So let's put this into perspective. Back in 2012 in September, this guy purchased 759 Bitcoin for less than $8,000, which is an average price of $10.50 per Bitcoin. The numbers indicate that the whale relocated the 159 Bitcoin trove after printing gains of more than 700,000%. All he did was hodl for three cycles, again, 12 years. The wallet currently holds 590 Bitcoin worth 40 million at this time. Well Alert also spotted another long dormant whale waking up this week. One whale woke up after more than 13 years and sent another wallet all of their 20 Bitcoin. A dormant address containing 20 Bitcoin, now valued at almost one and a half million, has just been activated after 13 years. Another whale woke up after more than 11 years to move 14 Bitcoin of profit of more than 157,000%. As shared here, the dormant address containing 14 Bitcoin worth a million has just been activated after 11.6 years. Back then, it was only $670. So imagine investing $670 in Bitcoin, in which this person did in 20 2013, and because you were smart enough to hodl for nine years, you're now worth a million dollars. Where else can you turn $670 into a million? Not many other places, family. Well, Alert also spotted another whale waking up after 13 years, sending one and a half Bitcoin to Kraken, as you can see here, containing 28 Bitcoin worth almost 2 million, just been activated after 13 years. Lastly, a whale alert says a wallet sleeping for more than 11 years suddenly woke up to send five Bitcoin to Coinbase. And that uh, 16 Bitcoin is 1.1 million, which has just been activated after 11.4 years. So hopefully this inspires you to understand the power of the hodl. All you got to do is hodl, preferably for two, three cycles. And you may, there's no guarantee, but History shows us, and all Bitcoin wallet holders show us, those who hodl for four years or longer are in unrealized profit, right? So if you want to be in unrealized profit, which is untaxable at this current landscape and time, you hodl. Hence, hodl be thy name. Who will win the election? That's the million dollar question, Cecile. But anyways, keep those comments flowing, yo. Uh, let's discuss the latest with uh, our next headline. Judge pushes Tornado Cash co-founder trial to April of next year. That's right. Tornado Cash co-founder and developer Roman Storm won't stand trial for money laundering and sanctions violation charges until April of 2025. In a November 1st telephone conference for the U.S. District Court of Southern District in New York, Judge Catherine Polk ordered Storm's trial adjourned until April of 14th of next year. The Tornado Cash co-founder's legal team has been petitioning to dismiss the charges, claiming they were based solely on him writing code for crypto, mixing service. And I am curious how many of you have ever used Tornado Cash in the past. Let me know. In 2023, prosecutors charged Storm and Tornado co-founder Roman with conspiracy to commit money laundering, conspiracy to commit sanctions violations, and conspiracy to operate an unlicensed money transmitting business. The indictment prompted outrage from many of the crypto industry. Storm and Semana's charges followed the U.S. Treasury's Office of Foreign Asset Control, adding Tornado Cash to the specially designated national list in August of 2022. The government departed a department claimed the mixer had repeatedly failed to impose effective controls designed to stop it from laundering funds for malicious cyber actors. Uh, and at the time, Sem and Av was not in U.S. custody and on the FBI's most wanted list. Good Lord for writing some code. Storm has been free on a two million bond following his 2023 arrest and pleaded not guilty to all charges. Meanwhile, in the Netherlands, authorities arrested Tornado Cash co-founder Alexi for money laundering charges in 2022. He was found guilty in May of this year and sentenced to more than five years in prison. So we'll keep you posted. This next story was interesting. <laughs> Viral squirrel peanut triggers a Solana meme coin frenzy. Some of these meme coins now have a market cap of over 100 million. See what you done did, state of New York. 
This is wild. Meme coins right in the sudden rise in popularity of Peanut to Squirrel has hit the Solana DeFi market, with some tokens even reaching a market cap of above $120 million. Mark Longo, owner of Peanut's social media account with over 600,000, wrote that on October 30th, the New York Department of Environmental Conver uh, Conservation confiscated and euthanized, a.k.a. unalived, the popular squirrel and raccoon named Fred. This follows complaints of alleged unsafe housing for Peanut. Uh, quoting him here from Instagram. Well, internet, you won. You took one of the most amazing animals away from me because of your selfishness. To the group of people who called DEC, there is a special place in hell for you. And I will second that. Rest in peace, Fred the Raccoon and uh, Peanut the Squirrel. We love you. You'll never be forgotten. Can I please get a moment of silence? Thank you. Longo said he first rescued the squirrel about seven years ago after seeing Peanut's mother get hit by a car. Because of an injury, Longo deemed that Peanut couldn't survive in the wild. Because of this, Peanut nursed him back to health and became the caretaker. Uh, Elon wrote in response to this, the government is a mindless, heartless killing machine. I'm going to have to agree with Elon. I don't often agree with Elon, but here, absolutely. The event triggered the outrage. Like billionaire Elon criticizes the government, calling it mindless and heartless. 100%. Peanut's sudden popularity spurred meme coin creators to launch meme-based tokens based on the popular squirrel, as you can see right here, yo. DeFi data tracker Dex Screener shows several meme coins based on Peanut have launched on the Solana network. In addition, two Peanut-themed meme coins have made it to the top 10 tokens in the Dex Screener's 24 uh, hour charts. A token called Peanut the Squirrel uh, with the ticker Peanut made two days ago had a volume of almost 300 million and recorded over 200,000 transactions. The token currently has a market cap of 100 million, peaking at 120 million before experiencing the correction. A similar meme coin also hit the BNB smart chain, hitting a market cap of 80 million while recording a volume of above 110 million. Meanwhile, Fred theme meme coin based on the raccoon euthanized with Peanut also hit the Solana meme coin market. A token called First Convicted Raccoon, ticker Fred, recorded almost 150,000 transactions and a trading volume of 83 million. Despite this, the project only had a market cap of 8.2 million. But now that we know the polls and the people that have spoken, our audience is more concerned over these two euthanized animals than Sleepy Joe and Kamala. And that's just the numbers speaking for themselves. Yeah, you know I mean, let's continue. We discussed Peanut to Squirrel. May he rest in peace. Now let's discuss the $90,000 target with a Trump pump. And then we'll discuss a bunch of influencer targets from Kathy Wood to Michael Saylor, all of those of significance. And we'll break all that down as well. And then we'll do some live Q&A. So here we have it. Economist Alex Kruger. I don't know if he is related to Freddy from Nightmare on Elm Street. He unveils election prediction for the biddy. Says Bitcoin can shoot straight up and breaks down why. Well, let's share this, shall we? Economist Alex Kruger reveals his scenarios for the biddy during the election night in the U.S., two days out, saying that the most fast move could be the coming for the crypto market. He shared on X that in the event of a Trump victory on election night, Bitcoin can shoot straight up immediately after. If Kamala wins uh, on top, Kruger says Bitcoin will likely correct, but only temporarily before a move upwards. Uh, according to the analysts here, simple elections frameworks for the biddy, Trump win, Bitcoin 90,000 by the year end. What a probability. A 55%, a Harris win. Bitcoin, 65,000 by the year end with a probability of 45% and weighted average of 79 Js, which would take us to price discovery. Expect the move to be fast. If Trump wins, markets rarely wait for laggards on the binary events, not largely front run. Trump win, shoot straight up. Harris win, down then up. Timing matters greatly if running leverage we're going in big. The Economist says that in the event of a Trump victory, his main play for the night will be to go long on Solana, Ethereum's biggest rival, quoting the analyst here. This is how I am thinking about the market. A large number of the people disagree. That's why we have a market. I'm going into the election night, very long spot with no leverage, mostly allocated to the bitty and NVIDIA, the stock. My main election night play if Trump wins is to be long. 
on Solana, uh, according to this analyst. I mean, there you go. Let me know your thoughts with some of that, family, before we dive into our feature story of the day, discuss some bullish price projections. Now for our feature story of the day, all the most significant price predictions from the most significant folk in the Bitcoin stratosphere. Yeah, I mean, let's break this one down. I'm going to start right here. Which Bitcoin price prediction do you think is the most accurate? Here are some of the influencers. Uh, we'll start with Mark Yusko. 150 G's by 2025. We got Peter Brandt, the old man, 135,000 by September 2025. And we'll continue here. Tim Draper, 250,000 by 2025. Rich Dad, Robert Kiyosaki, 500 G's by 2025. We got Plan B, 400,000 by 2026. I've also heard him say 500,000. Arthur Hayes, 750,000 by 2026. Novogratz, uh, 500 G's by 2028. Uh, Tyler Winklevoss, 500 G's by 2030. Kathy Wood, every broski's favorite Bitcoin lady, uh, 1 million by 2030. In fact, I've heard her raise that to 2.8 million. We've covered that here in the show. Michael Saylor projecting 13 million per Bitcoin by the year 2045. But let's dive a little deeper and shout out to the Bitcoin having. They put out the most extensive list of influencer Bitcoin price predictions. And here's what they had to share. They're going to chime in and I'll give you my perspective. This is what they wrote. Where and when did Crypto Hayes, Arthur Hayes, say 750000 by 2026? Our evidence of him for our official master list of the Bitcoin price predictions, which was viewed 600,000 times, was from the pod when he said 1 million potential peak for Bitcoin in 2024 to 2025. So I agree. I've all also saw predictions from Arthur Hayes of a million dollars uh, for this cycle peak. So you have been corrected there. And let's read some of the other thoughts uh, shared here with some of these uh, influencer predictions. Again, as pointed out by the Bitcoin having. Shout out to Bitcoin having. Make sure you're, you're following them. They're good folk. Finally, the final errors with Peter Brandt. He is on record saying 200000 as a potential peak. Bitcoin price for 2024, 2025, not 135000 Get your facts straight, Joey. Um, also, as shared here, uh, these are edited you know, to reflect the most accurate price predictions. Van Eck predicts $325,000 Bitcoin. Uh, Vic ran NYC. This guy over here, Vic Sharma, uh, he predicts uh, 350000 Shamath P, we covered this in yesterday's pod, very bullish uh, here, projected from ultimately 500000 to $1.14 million per coin. We have Maya Par, who is Maya Parho, uh, projecting 500000 and we have Colorado. <laughs> what a name, 650000 projection. We have Plan B, creator of the Bitcoin stock to flow model. Uh, he's projecting 477 target with a 250 to $1 million uh, dollar range. And of course, we got the Giga Chad, Michael Saylor, always so bullish. And I know they've even included my personal uh, projection, prediction in this master list as well, which we can discuss. But first, let me actually pull up some more of what is here right now. You can see Novogratz, 400,000. Willy Woo, 337,000. Glassnode Analytics CTO, 328,000. Jan Van Eck, uh, 325,000, Scotty Hoddle, 313,000 to 386,000, Kiyosaki, 300,000, Jack Maulers, between a quarter million to $1 million per coin. Uh, we got Ki Jong Yu, the crypto quant CEO, 265,000, you know, Draper, quarter million, Max Kaiser projecting a bottom of 220,000, and the list goes on and on and on. My personal prediction is a bear scenario for the cycle peak in 2025 at 250,000 per Bitcoin. My bull scenario is 750,000 per coin. Ultimately trying to say my average median would be 500,000 in that ballpark, right in alignment with the stock to flow model and plan B. I'm going to go ahead and read some of your comments and predictions out loud as well. Bring the chaos says 440,000 by 2025 is so unrealistic. Is it? Is it really? Careful with that knife, JB. The tube may ban you again. Well, this is for emergencies only, like cutting rope. Again, as a Boy Scout, in which I am not, um, you need something like this in case of an emergency. What if you're in a car accident and your safety belt is stuck on and you can't get it out and you crash and you went to a river and your car is sinking and the only way to get out is to cut the safety belt? 
which isn't so safe sometimes. You got to do what you got to do. So just for the record, this is not for violence. This is for safety. It's a pocket knife for Christ's sake. I've had a pocket knife since I was 10 years old. You know what I mean? So all it is is for safety, and that's for the algorithm listening right now. This is for safety only, such as getting strangled with a rope, having to set yourself free, or to protect yourself from evildoers, such as the lizard folk. You feel me? That 440000 might be easy with the eruption of the Bitcoin in early 2025. Exactly. I use this for carving pumpkins as well. In fact, I have a pumpkin in my kitchen downstairs, and that's precisely how he gets carved. The Nipponator. JV, your price is cut off. What do you mean my price is cut off? People don't understand the TA. Bitcoin can't go over 150000 until the next halving. Says who? Bring the chaos. Remember, Predictions are like buttholes. Everyone has one, and it's okay to embrace what you believe. Nothing wrong with that. Bitcoin is going up forever, Laura. That's what's up. 69 G's, baby. The inevitable. We've been climbing a for a million dollar climaxing. Serious pocket knife. Anything less than a three inch blade is considered a pocket Exactly, brother. And this blade is 2.9 inches, for the record. Uh, a shout out, Chun. Good to have you here. Uh, 500 to 750 cycle peak, 225,000. End of the year. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Aren't Americans given a gun at birth? Precisely. Precisely. Opinions, too. Let's go 69. Repost the stream over on the X. Thank you, family. I'm going to check the X feed again. Sunday fun day with JV and the CNA fam. Thank you, Ronan Crash. A little proof of work. Appreciate the repost. We do got over 900 people live and in the flesh. Oh, yeah. Breaking news. I didn't even get to it. It's official. Tupac Shakur, world's greatest rapper, officially endorses Donald Trump rocking the MAGA hat. I saw this earlier, and I couldn't resist. So shout out. Tupac, Tupacalypse Now, Mondo Vomata, Next Bata Beta Cow. Some bars from the Method Man. 